the IEBC Commission is back on the lips of Kenyans with different stakeholders expressing their disappointment with the Electoral Commission. A day after an attempt by estranged commissioners Connie Miner and Margaret Mochanya unsuccessfully tried to go back to office, the Third Way Alliance Party has now made its stand. For them to shamelessly make a return to the commission offices last Friday, 24th August, demanding their jobs back was not only unethical, but also criminal and a script reminiscent of the belligerence we see from the political class who have perfected the art of impunity in the public service. Giovanna Bunei, who has the party's women league, claims the commissioners were pushed by political forces. The purported return by the, former, by the two former IEBC commissioners proves that they were toys and puppets of their shameless political masters. Whereas there may be problems at the commission, they should never be allowed to disgrace and politicize it further. While we still have concerns at IEBC, the two former commissioners, together with their political masters, should never be entertained. These guys honestly must be, be uh, being pushed, pulled by some people supporting them. Because why would they have enjoy state protection when they resigned five months ago, publicly? Of course, they have political uh, support. I mean, uh, I don't know, we could try and uh, figure out in the next coming uh, days uh, who their godfathers are, but we know for sure they are definitely enjoying some protection. A similar stand was taken by the IEBC chairperson of Chebukati, who demanded an explanation in writing about the duo's mission at the commission. IEBC does not have offices for former commissioners. You cannot come here and say, I'm a former commissioner, give me space to work from here. And so, as far as we are concerned, they are not supposed to be working here. And this has to be made very, very clear to the country that there's no place for former commissioners in the IEBC. The party leader, Ekuro Court, also faulted the Building Bridges Committee and called for its disbandment. What we have opposed vehemently, and we will still oppose, and we will even go to court if need be, is the idea of creating another entity to purport to build bridges. Kevin Kabuya, Ebru TV News.